this is Missy here with SmarterQ, and in this video I'll be walking through how to create and manage categories. SmarterQ lets you define a schedule for when you want your post to be published, but unlike other scheduling tools which just publish the next item in your queue no matter what it is, here you can choose what type of content you want to post, and you can do this thanks to categories. When you add content inside SmarterQ, you'll tag each post with a category so SmarterQ knows when to schedule it, but we'll cover that in another video. When you first set up a SmarterQ account, we create a few example categories for you, including articles, inspiration, own blog posts, questions, self-promotion, and tips. You can feel free to use these categories, or you can edit, delete, and create new ones of your own. Let's walk through how to create a new category. Select Add a new category. Edit the name, change the color, and choose which social profiles you'd like the category to be active for. You can make the category seasonal so it is active only between certain dates. This is helpful when scheduling content for a specific time of the year, promotion, or public holidays. Or you can leave the category as always active. To edit an existing category, simply click into the category and make your desired edits. Your category will save automatically. If you'd like to delete a category, simply click the trash icon. To avoid losing all future posts, past posts, and analytics in the category, you must select a different category to transfer them to. If you'd like to combine two categories and their posts, this is also the perfect method to easily do so. You can bulk edit which social profiles are active for each category by clicking Bulk Edit Profiles. Using the checkboxes, you can select and deselect profiles. For example, let's disable our Instagram profile for the own blog posts and self-promotion categories and our Facebook page from inspiration and tips. Once you set up a new category, the next step is to add some time slots inside the posting plan so that SmarterQ will know what type of content you'd like to post and when. Categories will help make sure your content and schedule is balanced. If, for example, you found 20 great quotes one day and added them to your queue, you wouldn't want your next 20 posts to all be quotes. Rather, you'd want to space the quotes out and share them over time so your audience gets a balanced mixture of content. Once you set up time slots for your categories, ensuring your social media strategy is balanced becomes effortless and automatic. All right, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch by sending an email to hello at smarterq.com.